Okay, so this is the second half of proving Klein's parallel geometry. Okay, so the other day we talked about, or we're talking about one and three, and how they're corresponding angles, right? We've never said the lines were parallel, but they are corresponding. We just don't know they're equal. But let's say that I proved they were equal, but somehow I had a measurement that could measure it down to the nearest degree, and I proved that angle one was congruent to angle two. Right? Yeah. Well, then tell me. Would this line have to be parallel to this one? Yes. 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 It would have to be. Otherwise, it couldn't be. And that's what we're going to do today. Remember the other day we started with parallel lines? We said, okay, these angles are congruent, these angles are congruent, these angles are congruent, these angles are supplementary. Well, we're going to reverse that today. You remember um, a converse is the reverse? The, we flip the hypothesis and the conclusion. We're going to reverse that today of all of those. We're going to start out and we're going to say, hey, if these angles are congruent, right? Mm -hmm. Then these two lines are parallel. So we're going to reverse the process. The other day we talked about the lines being parallel produced congruent angles. Now we're going to we're going to say hey we got congruent angles. We're going to say our lines are parallel. Do you understand the difference? Yeah. So I'm going to begin with the first one. The converse of the corresponding angle. Alright, the converse, that's why, remember the converse? The con what that means? The converse of the corresponding angles postulate. POST. Now remember it was a postulate, it wasn't a theorem, we can't prove it, right? Okay. So the converse of the corresponding angles postulate says uh, if corresponding angles are congruent, then lines are parallel. Now, I condense this. So when you're done, I'm going to read you the whole thing so you understand that I'm condensing some things. You see, I've left out some important things. But we're going to, I hate to say this, but we're going to assume they're true because I don't want you're learning these long things. I want to make them shorter. So here's the whole thing. It says if two lines are cut by a transversal. Let me, let me show you the picture while I'm reading it. If two lines are cut by a transversal so that corresponding angles are congruent, then these two lines are parallel. You see how long it is? I'll say it again. If two lines are cut by a transversal such that corresponding angles are congruent, then these two lines are parallel. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I condensed it and said, hey, if corresponding angles are congruent, then these two lines are parallel. Okay? All right. So that means that every one of those we learned the other day, the converse is true. So that means that if, um, that if two lines in a plane are cut by a transversal such that a pair of alternate tier angles is congruent, then the two lines are parallel. We call this the alternate interior angles, uh, the alternate interior angles converse. Let's just say converse of alternate interior angles. And is this a theorem? Uh, doesn't say. This book, I just noticed that. It's never. We'll just say this. Because I don't know if it's a theorem or postulate because they have not said. And it says if alternate interior angles are congruent, then lines are parallel. Okay? Well, if we have a converse of an alternate interior angles, what do we also have? A converse of an exterior angles there, right? And it, remind me not to take off that we're not putting theorem or postulate there. Because my other book, these were all theorems. So I'm still kind of on that one. Converse of the alternate exterior angles. If 
alternate exterior angles are congruent, then lines are parallel. Guys, every single one of these, what do we what is the uh, the conclusion? Lines are parallel. Lines are parallel. So we're proving lines are parallel. Hence, the name of the section is Proving Lines Parallel. Okay. But we have two more. We've talked about the corresponding, the alternate interior, the alternate exterior. What are the uh, last two? Same side. Same side interior and same side. Exterior. Except they're not congruent. They are supplementary. supplementary. All right. So let's do that. The converse of... Uh, same side interior angle. If same side interior angles are supplementary, then we still end with the lines are parallel. Converse of same side exterior angles. If, I'm sorry, there's so much writing. I knew this was going to happen today. If same side exterior Angles are supplementary. Then lines are parallel. But keep in mind that all of them end with then lines are parallel. We're trying to prove two lines are parallel. So it looks like to me there are five ways to prove two lines are parallel. Correct? And that is <coughs> through the angles. All right, would you turn with me to page 190 in your book? And they have a picture that's a little wilder than this because they put a diagonal through it. Right? Oh. <clears throat> okay, and it says, number eight, uh, yes, on your side. would you read the directions for me, um, Addie? So we're going we're to state one of these if we can prove lines are parallel. So we're on number eight, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Go eat your sweatshirt. I gave you three cookies. All right. One and two. One and two. One and two. Angle one and two. I hope you can see why we did the exercise this morning with that picture. Is It says one is congruent to two. Can we prove any lines are parallel? Really? Um. One and two, you see the picture? Yes. If one and two are congruent, what kind of, are, are one and two any kind of angles we've studied? What kind of angles are they? I guess I should have asked you. What kind of angles are they? Uh, they're corresponding. They're corresponding. And so what two lines then, if those are congruent, what two lines would be parallel? Um, oh, yeah. That's right. So my first answer is, R is parallel to S. And then my second answer is which one of these? We need an angle or uh, converse, uh, of corresponding. converse of corresponding angles. Let's just put converse of corresponding angles. Okay? Okay, now number nine says angle two and angle nine. 
angle 2 and angle 9. Carly, are there any lines that you can prove parallel by 2 and 9? Mm -hmm. She says no. What kind of, are 2 and 9 special, are they any angles that we've studied? Mm -hmm. They're alternate exterior. Do we have an alternate exterior one that says mm -hmm. the lines are parallel? Yeah, it's B, U, and D. All right, very good. So number 9, U would be congruent, excuse me, parallel to B, and this would be the converse of the exterior, nope, alternate, alternate exterior, alternate exterior angles, all right, very good. Now I want to, I want to show you one that's a little weird, if I can find one, 11, 11, oh yeah, uh, angle, uh, the measurement of angle 7 plus the measurement of angle 8 equals 180. Are there any that say that the two angles are supplementary, that it, lines are parallel? Yes. Yes. Are the same, same side, side interior. Okay, are they same side interior or are they same side or exterior? exterior. Are exterior. they interior or exterior? exterior? I think they're interior. Aren't they 7 and 8? Yeah, they're interior. They're interior. So, oh. that's number 11. Which two lines are parallel? U is parallel to B, I believe, and it's converse. Wait, but how are they the same side? I thought it had to be... I thought seven and eight. I thought... Can I see your pencil? I thought eight would have to be like here. Seven and eight are going this way. Turn it around. Oh, I Turn see. it around. Seven and eight are going this way. Same side and tier. Okay? So converse of... Same... Side interior. Okay. How All are right. those interior? What's that? How are those interior? How are those? They're within the. They're within. They're inside the parallel lines. Wait, what's parallel lines? They're inside these two lines. Can't they carbon? R and S. Yeah, I was thinking. R and S. Oh, it should be R S. I'm yeah. sorry. This is R, or excuse me, this is S, so this is R, this is R, this is R, this is inside of it, outside of the F here. No. Yeah, it's R and S. I couldn't what? remember. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. All right. All right, so uh, your assignment is not due tomorrow. Um, it's page 198 through 22, but I think if you get a lot of it done, say that. What they say? 198 through 22. Page 190, uh, numbers 8 through 22. You can get a lot of them, mm -hmm. but we're going to do a proof tomorrow for the first first time ever. We're going to do a proof tomorrow. What's yeah. a proof? Uh, what's a proof? Um, it's a way to prove something is 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 right uh, using actual statements. So proving it using facts. Okay? All right, you want to shut her down?